What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna go over the single leg RDL. We have noticed that some people are twisting a little too much in the hips. So I wanted to make this video to demonstrate how to do a single leg RDL properly. So first, when you pick up your weight, remember whatever weight or hand you hold the dumbbell or the weight, that leg is gonna go back. Think, replace the hole, right? Replace whatever foot is back. Now what we've been seeing is that as we come down, our hips are starting to twist. So our, we're facing 45 degrees, and then when we come up, we, we then get square. What we wanna do is stay square the whole time. So as I'm here, I'm gonna start with my knee high. My hips stay square to the ground. Hips stay square to the ground. I'm reaching back with my other foot. Come back tall and drive that knee up. Again, hips stay square. I'm driving my foot back. I'm not going too high, but not going too low. Again, my hips are square and then drive up. When you guys twist your hips, you're not getting that inside of your hamstring. And a lot of, uh, a lot of you have been wondering, you're getting a little t pain in the top of your glute, the top of your hamstring, bottom of your glute. It could be this. So make sure that when you're doing the single leg RDLs, you are keeping your hips square and you're not twisting them to the side. And that will help you guys a lot develop a better inside of your hamstrings. So try those out. That's a single leg RDL. 